I was born in New Orleans, Louisiana, 1960. I'm the oldest of seven kids, and my dad was rich in kids, but not in money. We are actually neighbors, and I met her in the mall. She was at the mall working, and I was in there shopping, and I met her. And several years later, we were reacquainted at a 5K run. From that point forward, I knew she was the one. We got married in New Orleans at the cathedral in the French Quarter in October of 1985. What you see is what you get. This genuine, unflappable, creative, lovable person is just always there. Norma Jean is a person who can't say no. She spoke today at the IEEE conference. So she is, she is crossing over the entire engineering spectrum. She is contributing to everyone's lives. And she's a dreamer. She loves to think big. She loves to do big. She truly is a visionary. Well, Norma Jean being involved in engineering as a professor and as a practicing engineer, both daughters have been exposed to engineering their entire lives. When I graduated high school, my mom showed me civil engineering and I decided to follow her footsteps. When I was maybe 11 or 12, my mom always had subscriptions to these engineering journals. Me being the nerd that I was, I would read them. My sister studying to be a biomedical engineer because she's a traitor. In the professional world, a lot of people think that women have to make a choice between their careers and their families. And what my mom has done has proven to me that that's not true. She's managed to marry her work and her family together. Actually, I got a call on my cell phone out of the blue, and it ended up being the White House. They said, Are you, do you know anything about the Mississippi River Commission? Because the president wants to nominate you. I had not gone in and lobbied for this position, so evidently my name came up. The Mississippi River today really does play a major part in the commerce, in the health of the economy of this nation. Having your city being brought to its knees, a city that you love, made me realize that resiliency and sustainability are very important. I would go into the restricted area where the reservists were there, um, it was limited access, and I said, I'm a professional engineer, and I'm going to do structural inspections. And so people would ask me to go and look at their homes, and I did a lot of pro bono inspections. Crawling under their house, in their house, in the attic, to, to let them know just what the situation was, at least structurally. I think that, um, the best decisions, if you look at two groups and you give them a problem, one group being people that are very, very similar, smart, well-educated in that area, and you put together another team that is diverse in gender, ethnicity, and outlook, the diverse team is going to come up with a better decision. I know that you know Norma Jean is a professor, but she has been a pioneer in every sense of the word. She just doesn't wear the bonnet and she's not on the prairie. I always wonder how does she accomplish as much as she does. Her whole goal in life, next to family, is to serve. ASCE is just so fortunate to have somebody like Norma Jean as their president. If they don't know Norma Jean yet, they are in for a really huge surprise. She is such a great lady. I'm extremely proud of her. It's inspiring.